Hello everybody. We're finally ready to demonstrate the heat blanket um, oscillator or what is also known or what I'm calling as the Schulman oscillator, Schulman frequency oscillator. And here it is. Um, it's got two boards and you can see this one that I'm pointing to. That's the circuit board that contains the oscillator and the pulse duty width modulator and a timer. Um, I have it set for 10 hours. I'll explain that a little bit. And this one up here that I'm tapping, that of course is a power supply unit that we're hopefully familiar with. Uh, it's the buck converter. And I use the buck converter, I think, a little bit more than I use the step up uh, uh, regulator. Um, buck converter uses a LM2596 chip. And it allows you to use a wider variety of uh, wall power modules. Um, and I've suggested before, go look up a buck converter on Wikipedia and it'll give you a little bit of the technical description of what that's all about. So that's the, the unit. And now that we've seen the insides, I'm going to close it up and then we'll show you a little bit more. All right. I'm not going to screw it uh, together right now. I'll screw that off camera together. So here we have the input power supply. This is where the um, vampire module gets plugged into. That's this guy right here. Goes into a wall and then it plugs in right like yay. On the opposite end we have the output that um, will produce a veritable pulse width uh, Schulman resonant frequency of 7.83 or thereabouts you can fine-tune that frequency with this little pinhole right there and you stick a screwdriver in there and you get on top of that pot that's down in there it's a 10 turn potentiometer and you can fine-tune it you need either a frequency meter which I'll demonstrate or an oscilloscope to check the output so you plug in this cable, which is nothing more than a mono cable, um, end to end. And the output's sitting right there uh, at the end of this plug right here, which I will be plugging into uh, my pulser. And we'll come back to that also. There's an LED light right there that I'm pointing to. Um, when I plug it in, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. You'll see the power. And then an on and off switch with a um, adjustable control for the duty cycle. Now the duty cycle is equivalent to um, a power control. It allows you to adjust the intensity or the width of the applied um, pulse to uh, whatever you're driving. I'm calling this a heat blanket and a Schulman resident uh, oscillator because that's what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, and we'll explain a little bit more there in a few minutes. So if I plug this in, which I will do now, and I will turn it on, and the first thing you're going to notice is a flashing LED. Okay. Now this LED flashes at various rates. When you first turn it on, let's start over again here. When I first turn it on, I can turn the power up and it's flashing very weakly now. Very, very weakly. And it's flashing at the rate of 7.83 Hertz. If I turn it up, it gets brighter. Turn it up, it gets brighter. And it, the brightness indicates uh, the power level you're providing to the blanket. And I can turn it all the way up until it looks almost like it's constant. It actually is a very um, fast flicker. Actually, all the way up, it does look very constant. Right now, it's at a very fast flicker, but the camera can't detect that uh, flicker. And now we're going to turn it down. I could put a scale around here, and there is a index marker on the knob to allow you to go back to um, some particular set frequency. Um, when you first turn it on, the first thing that the unit does, it goes through an initialization sequence and starts a 10-hour timer. Um, 
the 10 hour timer automatically turns the unit off and it does that so if you're using it as a heat blank um, oscillator uh, you're, you can forget to turn your heat blanket uh, off and this will turn it off for you. So that is the basic Shulman 7.83 Hertz uh, oscillator also known as my heat blanket uh, oscillator also known as um, a general purpose oscillator fixed at the Showman frequency of 7.83. Okay, I'm repeating myself. And we will now move on to video two.